be cool like me. Ah! Ah! Screwing around. Screwing around is the same as playing around or messing around. Welcome everybody, it's Halloween month. So today we are learning English from a Halloween movie called Monster House. I've picked the best phrases from this movie so that you too can destroy evil haunted houses in your neighborhood. Let's do this. Why would you learn English from some suit and tie professor when you could learn it from a grumpy old man, a possessed killer house, and a future pro basketball player? Are you okay? My nose is in my brain! Open up that notepad app and get ready to learn English from... Our story begins with DJ Walters, an awkward 12-year-old boy. It's the day before Halloween and he's spying on his neighbor, Mr. Nebercracker, a grumpy old man. DJ sees Mr. Nebercracker steal a young girl's tricycle. DJ runs to tell his parents what he saw, but his voice cracks. His voice sounds funny. Someone is hitting puberty. Someone's hitting puberty. Puberty is a gross, disgusting time in kids' lives when they start growing hair in places, girls start bleeding, and boys' voices start to get deeper. This is what's happening to DJ. We say he's hitting puberty or he's going through puberty. His voice sounds funny. Someone is hitting puberty. DJ's parents don't believe what he says about Mr. Nebercracker. They are preparing to go on a trip and tell him the babysitter will be there soon. They leave and DJ's friend Chowder comes by and shows DJ his new basketball. Chowder wants to go trick or treating this year, but DJ says no. You're gonna break a six year streak. Yeah, six years of being jumped and egged. Yeah, six years of getting jumped and egged. Being jumped or getting jumped is when a group of people start hitting you and beating you. Getting egged is when people throw eggs at you. It's not common, but sometimes on Halloween, people do get egged. DJ is saying that he spent six years trick-or-treating, but also getting jumped and egged. You're gonna break a six year streak. Yeah, six years of being jumped and egged. Chowder then shows off some sick basketball moves. Are you okay? My nose is in my brain. The ball bounces away into Nebercracker's yard. DJ goes to get it, but Nebercracker comes out and attacks. He grabs DJ and screams at him, but the hate is too much for him to handle. So he falls over and dies. An ambulance comes to pick up Nebercracker's lifeless body. Becoming a murderer sends DJ into a state of shock. He goes home and the skanky babysitter arrives, but DJ ignores her and immediately goes to bed. <gasps> DJ wakes up and receives a phone call. Hello? But no one answers. He calls the number back and hears a phone ringing. <sighs> DJ freaks out and calls Chowder, telling him to meet up at the danger zone. DJ goes downstairs and hears the babysitter with her boyfriend. I said, knock it off. I said, knock it off. Telling someone to knock it off is just another way of telling them to stop it. There's also another very common way of saying this, and you can find that out in my Ice Age video. I said, knock it off. DJ sneaks out of the house and meets up with Chowder. While they are talking, Chowder finds the keys to an excavator and turns it on. Be cool like me. Quit ah! screwing around. Quit screwing around. Screwing around is the same as playing around or messing around. Chowder is playing around on the excavator and not taking the situation seriously. He's screwing around. This is a very common thing that parents will tell their kids. Stop screwing around. Be cool like me. Ah! Ah! Screwing around! DJ tells Chowder that Nebercracker is haunting him from the dead and that he needs help to investigate the issue. Chowder agrees to help DJ, but only if DJ goes trick-or-treating with him. Trick or treat. 
DJ accepts. They head over to the abandoned house and Chowder goes up to the front door. The house then comes to life and attacks. Chowder almost gets eaten alive, but they escape and run to DJ's house. They spy on the house from DJ's room all night long. The next day, Halloween morning, the babysitter answers a knock on the door from a girl named Jenny, who's trying to sell some Halloween candy. Jenny says, Households that run out of candy are 55% more likely to be TP'd. Studies show that households that run out of candy are 55% more likely to be TP'd. Okay, so TP stands for toilet paper, but it's also a verb. To TP a house is also another Halloween tradition. It's when people will throw toilet paper onto someone's house or in the trees of someone's house. It's usually done against someone you don't like, like a teacher. Households that run out of candy are 55% more likely to be TP'd. But the babysitter isn't convinced by Jenny's sales strategy. So Jenny says, Babysitter? Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay, let's cut the crap. Okay, let's cut the crap. To cut the crap literally means to cut the poop. But that's not what it actually means. This is a very common expression to say, stop playing games or stop the nonsense. Jenny was saying a bunch of nonsense to try to sell the candy, but now she's cutting the crap and she's going to be more serious and more honest with the babysitter so that she can make the sale. Babysitter? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's cut the crap. Jenny's honesty convinces the babysitter to buy some candy, but Jenny is selling candy door to door, which means the next house she needs to sell to is the monster house. <laughs> DJ and Chowder are looking at Jenny's ass through a telescope and notice that she's going to the monster house. They rush outside to stop her, but the house attacks before they can get there. DJ and Chowder save Jenny from the evil house and all three of them return to DJ's room where Jenny discovers the boy's fetish. Um, is this pee? Because if it is, that's really gross. Oh, boys will be boys. Jenny steps away to call her parents when DJ and Chowder start to argue. You can't call dibs on a girl through a telescope. Well, you can't call dibs on a girl. Just did. Well, you can't call dibs on a girl. To call dibs on something is to say that that thing is yours and nobody else can have it. Let's say we went trick-or-treating and we got a bunch of candy. Let's also say that you really love chocolates. So you can say, I call dibs on all the chocolates, meaning that you want the chocolates all to yourself and you don't want anybody else to have them. DJ and Chowder are trying to call dibs on Jenny because they both like her. You can't call dibs on a girl through a telescope. Well, you can't call dibs on a girl. Just did. Jenny comes back into the room and they all decide to call the police. Minutes later, the police arrive, but they don't believe the kid's story. They just tell them to leave. So much for relying on the government. Yeah, I know, I hate the government. The kids start thinking of ideas to destroy the house. They determine that they have to attack the heart of the house. They notice that the chimney has been active even after Nebracracker's death. They determine that the furnace must be the heart of the house. The kids try to implement their plan, but the cops stop them and arrest them. The house then comes to life and eats the cops and then swallows the kids inside the car. The kids jump out of the car before it is eaten, but the house doesn't realize that they have escaped. So they are free to roam the house undetected. Jenny identifies the body parts of the house, the teeth, the tongue, and the uvula. The uvula is this part of your mouth. So it's a girl house. What? The kids find pictures of Nebracracker's wife. The rumor is that he made her fat and ate her. The kids then come across a cage with the name Constance. They go inside to find the dead body of a woman surrounded by flowers and chocolates. The house then wakes up and attacks the kids. The house is about to swallow the kids when Jenny jumps on the uvula, 
forcing the house to vomit them out. DJ tries to go home, but is hit by an ambulance. Out steps Mr. Nebercracker. It's a ghost! Be gone! Fly! The kids are surprised to see that Nebercracker is still alive. It turns out he never actually died. DJ tells Nebercracker that he knows about his wife, Constance. Mr. Nebercracker tells the story about his wife. One day, Nebercracker was building a house for him and his wife, but some children were throwing eggs at Constance as a Halloween prank. When she tried to attack the kids, she accidentally fell and died. Her chubby soul was so filled with hate and carbohydrates that she possessed the house and began attacking children ever since then. DJ convinces Nebercracker to leave Constance, but she hears this and starts chasing them. The kids and Mr. Nebercracker all run to the danger zone where Chowder attacks the house with the excavator and shreds the house to pieces. Look who just won, it's me, the screw up. Look who just won, it's me, the screw up. A screw up is a person that is a loser in life. Someone that is constantly making bad decisions, constantly failing. Chowder destroyed the house and is extremely happy because normally he's a screw up. Look who just won! It's me! The screw up! But the house comes back to life in a different form and destroys the excavator. DJ makes it to the crane and with the help of Jenny, he drops multiple sticks of dynamite into the chimney. The house explodes and is finally defeated. The kids then see Nebercracker dancing with the ghost of Constance as he tells her goodbye. And that's it, that's the movie. Thank you for watching this video all the way until the end. If you have any questions about anything you've heard in this video, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Like the video, share the video, and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm that crazy mulatto. Now get the hell out of my face. Good luck with the puberty. She grabbed my butt. <laughs>